Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Block. In this video, we will upgrade our vCenter Server Appliance 6.5 to latest release 6.7. As you can see, we stored the, start the installer and we have the upgrade option within the installer. Here we can read what what's going to happen. Basically, we will deploy a new VCSA appliance then copy all the data from the old appliance to the new one. So first we need to connect to the old appliance. We need to enter our SSO username and password and also the appliance uh, root password. We also need to connect to the uh, ESXi or vCenter server where the appliance is currently running and um, on the next page we will need to um, set the target where the new appliance uh, gonna be running and connect to this uh, host or vCenter server we also need to set a name of the new appliance set the root password and uh, then select the deployment size here we just leave the default we enable thin disk select uh, the proper networking configuration we will use uh, uh, static IP addresses but this is only for a temporary IP address because once everything is copied um, the new appliance will gonna take the uh, IP address from the old appliance and the old appliance uh, will be shut down this is the pre-upgrade check message telling us that basically the files that are not copied, copied to the new appliance will not be used here we can choose uh, what we're gonna bring over configuration if we want to join the customer experience program from VMware and here we confirm that we have backed up okay shutdown warning yeah Definitely you should uh, take a backup of your old uh, vCenter server appliance and then only you should start the upgrade process. We are having accelerated the video because the whole uh, process took quite long. I think it was over 40 minutes. So uh, it's pretty awesome that uh, we can um, accelerate videos to not having you to wait for the whole process to finish okay so basically it's three fa phase which need to be done copy data from the software server to the target server set up the target server and here we have some messages informational only and basically we are done so you have a link directly so you can connect to the new appliance and you can uh, log in to the new vCenter server 6.7 which was mi migrated from uh, 6.5 the process is uh, very straightforward and uh, well done well documented and uh, so far we haven't had uh, any problems great so we are running vcenter server 6.7 thanks very much for watching bye bye